Hey everyone, I've decided to come out of the darkness after quite the sabbatical of not making tutorials, and um, I've got a special series in the works to make up for the uh, 1911 discontinuation. I still haven't found any good prints to finish up those uh, parts, but um, it's another gun project that was given to me by a subscriber and a friend from GrabCAD, and uh, he came to me with a problem on a piece he was working on. And thought I could help. Um, so once he showed me what it was, not only was I interested in helping him, but I told him I was going to do a series on this because it covers so many modeling techniques. It's really a, a perfect single piece example of beginner, advanced, and expert level techniques that all come into play to finish a part. Uh, so without further ado, I present to you a milled AK-47 receiver created from, wait for it, the original AK-47 prints. Let me zoom in on this for you so you can kind of get a good feel for what we're going to be playing with. It's all in Russian, obviously, so any of these notes, um, I've actually gone ahead and translated if we need them. Um, I've actually been studying Russian over the past few years, so this is actually quite a fun exercise for me to do. Um, but yeah, this is a um, superimposed print, original scan from, I believe, 1957. It could be earlier. Um, the actual date on it is pretty hard to read. Um, these are all revisions down here. This being the earliest. And it does look like that digit there is a four or something, but it's faded. So, I mean, these could be as early as 1947 or as late as 1957. Um, so, I will be including a download link to a zip file containing this print and a step file of my model that way you guys can actually view the 3d um, interpretation of it and the print side by side um, there's definitely some tricky spots on the print that if you're if you're definitely new to print reading or 3d modeling in general you're going to have a very rough time trying to interpret a lot of these lines and um, I figured the step file would be a good source for you guys since you, you won't be able to cheat off of my feature tree. It'll just be a singular imported part. And uh, you'll be able to spin it and turn it and kind of look at those trick spots and see what I see what that should look like in 3D. You'll see what I do as I create the part, but you won't see what I did in terms of my feature tree to the left here. Um. So, due to the scale of this one, um, I obviously modeled it in advance uh, to make sure I could read and follow the entire print myself. Um, so, for the tutorial, I will be modeling this completely from scratch again, uh, using the first draft here as a guide to keep the video length sensible. Um, instead of you guys trying to watch me solve a single area on the print, for 30 minutes because a lot of this I, I, I spent probably about um, I'd say three and a half weeks on this part working maybe an hour to two hours a night whenever I could whenever I had the chance to really sit down and play with this and some areas on this print you can you can knock out pretty quick other areas you got to sit there and really study it um, find out where the section view is that you're looking for because they're kind of spread out on this print all over the place. And um, yeah, like I said, just you really got to study it and interpret what section of the receiver you're looking at versus the next view and get a real good feel for what that's supposed to look like in 3D. Um, so I'll be splitting the videos up into 30 minute sections per my usual format. And um, again, since I'm modeling from scratch, any errors or mistakes that I make um, in the second edition of this, they'll be recorded and solved so you guys can follow along and learn some troubleshooting as I like to do in all my videos. So um, 
that's all I've got for you as a special preview. And I hope to start rolling these out today. So if you guys are viewing this uh, day one of its upload, look for the first, second, and third parts of this at least a day after. I'm, I'm hoping to uh, get a real good, solid foundation for this um, this Saturday. So um, thanks again for watching, everyone who's a regular subscriber. Uh, sorry, I've been in the shadows for quite a bit, but um, anyone who's new, welcome. And um, as always, I appreciate all the comments and feedback I get. And I also wanted to mention that I had a request on my channel for doing tutorials, creating drawings. And I also figured that due to the depth of this part here, we're actually going to update and recreate this entire print. And I will be doing that completely unrehearsed for you guys. I haven't laid any of this out yet on paper. Um, so that will be, um, a, it, it'll be a continuation of this tutorial series, but I'm going to title it um, a little bit differently so that people know the difference if they don't want to actually model the part and they just want to skip ahead and watch just creating a drawing of some miscellaneous part, they can do that. Um, but for everyone else who's going to be following me step by step, um, I will be going through and creating this drawing pretty much with you guys. So um, thanks for watching again, and uh, we'll see you soon.